Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I am very glad that you uh, decided to join me today. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, burdens. People carry burdens in their life. In fact, sometimes we par carry burdens of uh, guilt or shame or anger or uh, so forth in our life and they get pretty heavy to carry. Jesus said this about it. He said, come to me all you who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my load is light. When Jesus said that, the people uh, that he was speaking to understood the context of his example when he said, take my yoke upon you. In those days they farmed with animals. They would use uh, two oxen to pull a plow and they had a, a wooden yoke between the two oxen to kind of keep them together. It's easier to manage that way. And they would always, when they were teaching a younger ox, they would always yoke the younger ox up with an older one that had already learned what he's supposed to do. So uh, when he said uh, for us to take his yoke upon us, what he means is he's going to pull the main part of the load. We're just going along right next to him through life and he carries the big burden. Well, the question is, what burden am I talking about and how does he carry it? The first part is any burden, <laughs> any kind of troubles that you're carrying in your life. Some of you have had people say things about you or do things to you that were very hurtful. Sometimes you've done things in your own past and you have a hard time forgiving yourself. So I want to talk to you about how to get rid of all of those burdens, whatever they are, whatever the source. Don't carry it around anymore. It'll wear you out. So I want to encourage you to come to Jesus Christ and give your burden to him. Another way that Jesus Christ uh, says, learn from me, is I want you to think back and remember to the time when he was being nailed to the cross. And when Jesus Christ was being nailed to the cross for your sin and mine, Jesus Christ cried out to his Father in heaven. He said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The people knew they were nailing him to the cross. That's not what he meant. What he meant was they don't understand that they're nailing the Son of God to a, a wooden cross to kill the Son of God who is without sin. And so uh, he forgave them. Jesus Christ could not have died for your sin or mine if he was unwilling to forgive. He was pretty smart. He knew that if you don't forgive people, you continue to carry the burden of whatever they've done or failed to do around in your own life. And so you need to forgive them. You might say, Pastor Rick, so-and-so does not deserve to be forgiven. Well, the truth is, why would you forgive somebody who never did anything to you? It's kind of like I could go up to somebody and say, I forgive you, and he'd say, I never did anything. I'd say, I know it's easier to forgive people who never did anything wrong to me than it is to forgive people that I'm mad at. <laughs> so what I want to encourage you to do is to think about forgiving people who have wronged you. Now, why? They don't deserve to be forgiven. No one does. But if you forgive them, you break the chains of bondage between them and yourself. I ask people this way, I say, how long do you want to continue to allow what someone else did to you to control and ruin your life? And most of the time we eventually get down to where they say, I don't want to let them control me anymore. I say, then you have to let it go. If you don't let it go, they continue to have control upon you and hurt you, even if they're dead or even if they're out of the picture in some way. So learn from Jesus, forgive others, let it go. They don't deserve it, but you will be free yourself and not have to carry their load around with you anymore. And uh, be glad because Jesus Christ loves you. He took your burden. He died for you upon the cross. He was buried and rose again. You can trust him. Anyway, God bless you. Have a great day and let it go.